okay uh, today I'm bringing again biscuits it's a flower biscuit but I'm making in a long shape because I need to put chocolate on the sides it's very easy just few ingredients and uh, easy but it's lovely to eat uh, so let's get started I'm going to show you my ingredient so here I have got 250 gram of butter flour according to how much you require when you need the dough we got here half cup of corn flour and half cup of icing sugar and baking powder is one teaspoon and chocolate for decoration so let's get started now first of all I'm going to turn on my oven because I need to do baking yeah okay and this chocolate I'll put aside now first I'll put here butter I have already melted it butter and sugar icing sugar and I'll beat it until it comes in a smooth form Vanilla essence, if I forgot to mention, but about one teaspoon, and I'll beat it with a bit more. Now I'm going to add uh, baking powder less than one teaspoon just for raise a little bit more and now we're not using our mixer now I'm going to put flour but because we are going to use according to how much you need to I'll just start to from one cup is a plain flour one cup and I'm starting to knead I know that you will need like more so yeah so this is biscuit not for raw I have here prepared the star big star one nozzle so I'll put here and make my biscuits I'm just making uh, like half recipe if you want make more than this amount you obviously can make it you just double triple as much you want yeah I'll put this more flour so like for now it's two cup so we never have exactly amount for flour because it's just how much you need so yeah so this is like still we need more flour you have to feel little bit more um, thickness on the so look this is not means it's not uh, enough so I add little bit more flour but just so to let you know how much I put actually that's how I'm measuring so like I have add little bit more half cup more I think should be alright otherwise will be so much thick yeah this is perfect consistency of the dough of biscuit so I have put here two and a half cup but you can uh, put more or less according to how much you like but then you have to see how much is your biscuits coming out maybe one time doesn't come proper so I think I will add a little bit more one more spoon cool. yeah see now I'm feeling a little bit better and that's it yeah now knead it properly yeah if I 
I add loads flour, it will crack your biscuit. It won't come, come out very smooth. And this biscuit just take 10 to 12 minutes to bake on me. Let me wash my hand first, then I'll put in my uh, piping bag. So I was supposed to do with piping bag, but I'm showing my own technique, how I often do. I just take little, little batter, and I put here water with uh, uh, butter parchment paper, so it gets thick. Now look how I'm doing. Look. I do like this. It's depending how you feel better, comfortable. I feel like this, comfortable. So I'll take my batter and I just put in my nozzle and just put with my thumb. Look. And the, uh, you can make your own wish design as well. But I am making this long because I need to put chocolate on, on both sides. See? They are looking lovely. I don't know now after baking how is, but for the moment they look so cute. So this is just how I make. So far, biscuits. Yeah, this tray is ready. So I'm going to put this tray in the oven and then I'll make another tray. So this is for about uh, 10 minutes first and I'm going to check because they get ready very fast. Yeah, so it's been exactly 10 minutes and my biscuits are ready. Look, they are reddish on top and See, they are so delicate biscuit, but they are very lovely. Just took 10 minutes to, don't, don't leave it longer than then, because it will be red on top, burn and nothing. Look, it's such a, so what I'm doing now, I let it cool down quickly. It will cool down as well. And then we are going to melt the chocolate and put on the side. And that's it. So look, my biscuits are cooled down now. So now I'm going to melt the chocolate. So for that I'm using boiled water, chocolate, and I'll put here. So be careful, water should not go inside your bowl, otherwise chocolate will be like cuddle. So this is how I'm going to melt my chocolate. It's very easy, I will just dip dip my sides of my biscuits and uh, that's it, my biscuits are ready. Look, it start to melt. It's very easy. You can use button chocolate. You can use even dark chocolate, but the dairy chocolate. Any is your wish. This biscuit is my children's favorite biscuit. I know it's everything mostly is my children's favorite, but this uh, I I'm I'm looking forward. I'm very sure before eat they will finish my biscuits. But it's all right. We are making for children to eat anyway. Ne? So it's fine. So, chocolate is melted. I'm leaving this chocolate in the boiling water, yeah? So, they don't get thick again. So this is the way I'm making, just this way. And then here and then let it the chocolate so, so you have to let again now chocolate get uh, dry right so i'll put in the rack and then i have i put in the my serving dish look lovely beautiful this is even is my favorite as well children loves even dad their dad love husband yes. so what I'm going to do now I'm letting my biscuits in the rack here wire rack because I will let this chocolate get cooled down so it will be sticked ne, in the biscuits and then we can set aside uh, anywhere you want you can put in the plate you know in, in a dish and everywhere so I'll come back to you when this 
biscuits are cool now so my biscuits are ready nice and lovely beautiful look yeah so I'm going to do my plating wow lovely oh my god you have to let it dry a little bit more I'm just put, trying to put most yes okay lovely so viewers I hope you have a see it's just very small amount of ingredient and it came out double of this amount so it's in this recipe if you want more and more you just add a double amount that's it so please like subscribe and don't forget to share and don't forget forget to press the bell icon as well uh, and thank you for watching my videos bye bye